Good Friday night to you. You know we are in the age of iPhones, Alexa, the NSA. Everything appears to be recorded in some way, shape or form. So what struck us as rather archaic when we learned that all presidential phone calls with foreign leaders are documented through note taking. Huh. So Chris went to find out why. On November 7th, 1962, President. President John F. Kennedy and California Governor Pat Brown are on the phone, and they're talking smack about Richard Nixon. Wow, that last farewell speech he has, wasn't that terrible? It is a fly-on-the-wall recording of a private conversation. Eisenhower recorded just five hours of tape in four years. Nixon recorded about 3,400 hours of tape. But that all changed after Watergate. Why presidents don't record conversations with foreign leaders. Imagine if everything that was said in the White House made it on the front page of the paper. Do you think an advisor or a foreign leader would tell you of anything of value? The conclusion across a number of uh, presidential administrations, both parties, is that presidents need a cone of confidentiality. I mean, let's look at President Trump's conversation with the president of Ukraine, Zelensky in which he is criticizing the chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel. Well, no one wants that on the front page of the paper. Okay, so if the president's conversations aren't recorded, then how do we know he's criticizing Merkel? It turns out there's a small number of people from the National Security Council who listen to these conversations. They take detailed notes and establish a record. And they're writing down in real time what they're hearing. They're focusing particularly on commitments, the exchange between the two leaders, so that the White House and then that much broader administration, which is a large bureaucracy, can then follow up. Well, what's the difference between outstanding note-taking and a recording? Recording is a more serious breach of the understanding among uh, leaders that their discussion will be confidential. So the consensus on the Trump-Ukraine convo is that it's not a verbatim of the conversation. It's not a transcript, per se, but very close. It's the raw compiling of notes that's supposed to create a memorandum summarizing the call. But in this case, it's those raw notes that have become the integral bullseye of an impeachment inquiry. Then I guess how can we do a scrupulous check and balance on what the president's saying to foreign leaders? The reality is there is no check and balances when it comes to the president's conversations with foreign leaders. Some would say a whistleblower would be the answer to that. But uh, if you just had the recording, some say, of the conversations, we could really clear up a lot of ambiguity here, right? But on the flip side of that, it's trust and privacy that are imperative to any relationship, and that especially you know, trying to be honest and frank to a foreign leader. They need to have that veil of privacy to understand one another and trade information. Right. It's just like when you and I do our job, I mean, same but different. When we talk to somebody, we can't just record the call without asking them or telling them, hey, I'm going to record this. Then it changes the whole tone of the conversation. People behave differently. Yeah, you and I sitting at our desk sounds a little bit different than you and I on TV. Right. Although not that different. It's true. <laughs> just a lot more, less beeps. You know what I thought was interesting, Chris? Nixon recorded 3,400 hours of conversations. Is that just because he was paranoid? Why did he do that? No. So Jacob said that that was because he was vain. He and a lot of presidents feel that they're important and brilliant, and some of them record everything as wow. a matter of memoir or memos, more or less a, video, a, a recording diary, so that historians can know what they did, how they did it, and that sort of thing. That's what he said. Well, that's really interesting that Nixon, you know, we all know what happened to Nixon, records 3,400 hours of conversations Watergate happens because of recordings. And then after that, people stop doing it. Well, yeah, he recorded his own demise. Hmm. He recorded his own demise. So people are like, yeah, we, we probably shouldn't do that. Let's just not hit that button anymore. Nope. And his, his were automated. Interesting. As soon as voices hit, they started recording automatically. Well, now you know you're smarter at the water cooler or at your weekend gathering. This is why the phone calls aren't recorded. Right. Thank you, Chris, for always making us smarter. We appreciate you.